Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at a conductivity heat transfer example. We are told that a furnace of a wall is constructed by a fire brick with a known thermal conductivity K of 1000 watt per meter Kelvin. The dimensions of the surface of the wall it is 20 by 20 meters with a thickness of 1 meter. If the temperature on the internal surface of the wall is on average 125 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the outside is ambient at 25 degrees, what will be the rate of the energy leaving the furnace through this wall? We are looking at a conductivity problem and we know that the heat transfer conduction travels through a solid surface and a fluid. A fluid is any substance that can flow, this includes A. In this case, the solid surface is the furnace brick wall. First law of thermodynamics tells us that energy cannot be created nor can it be destroyed and the total amount of energy in the universe is fixed, hence we can say that energy is conserved and this can be represented by internal energy equated to the heat supplied subtracting the work done by the system on its surroundings. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that heat can only flow from a hotter material to a cooler material. This can be represented by saying the change of entropy is equated to the heat divided by the temperature. To solve this example, we are going to make use of Fourier's law given by this equation here, where Q is the heat transfer rate in the direction X, A is the area normal to the direction, K is for the thermal conductivity measured in watts per meter Kelvin, dt over x being the temperature gradient and qx over a being the heat flux in the direction of x. We are given the thermal conductivity as a thousand watts per meter Kelvin. The negative sign means that the heat flows in a direction negative to the temperature gradient. We are given area to be 20 times 20 meters squared. We are given x to be 1 meters. Temperature 2, it is given to be 25 degrees Celsius and this can be converted to Kelvin. Remember that all you have to do is add 273 and if we add 273 to this it should give us 298 Kelvin. Temperature 1 it is given to be 1025 degrees. Seemingly this should give you 1298 Kelvin. And we are asked to calculate the heat transfer rate. Making use of the Fourier's equation, which tells us that the heat transfer rate in the direction of x over area can be equated to the thermal conductivity, which is negative, change in temperature, and the thickness. If we substitute, we should have a negative thousand multiplied by the change in temperature, which is 298 minus 1298 Kelvin. On the left hand side, we have area which is given to be 20 times 20 meters squared. If we punch this onto our calculator, we should get a million watts per meter squared. And this side, we are left with heat flux, which is Q over area, and this should give you 400 meters squared. If we make Q subject of the formula, which is our heat, we should have watts per meter squared times meter squared. And this should give us, I'm going to divide by a thousand, 400,000 kilo watts. I really hope this makes sense. It was so fun to solve with you here. Okay, thank you so much for watching.